Two days left of Women's History Month, so we're going to continue to honor the ladies that made our country great. Now, today we focus on a pioneer in science. Today, we're going to highlight one of the first notable female biology scientists, Nettie Stevens. Born in 1861 in Vermont, there was little hope for women to be anything other than a teacher or a nurse or a housewife in those days. Now, Stevens graduated from the Westford Academy at just 19 years of age. Though her first love was biology, she took her first job as a teacher. Dreams don't pay the bills. You'll starve if all you can afford to eat for dinner are your lofty aspirations. Nettie saved for 16 years before attending college at Leland Stanford University and then Bryn Mawr College four years later. The next 11 years would be the most productive of her whole life. Her main interest? The process of sex determination. We got something in common. Oh, no, she did X's and Y's? Yeah, no, I, didn't, I didn't do that. Okay, never mind. Studying the mealworm, Stevens determined that male mealworms were made up of X and Y chromosomes, while females were only X's, concluding that offspring gender is inherited through males. That's right, ladies, it's my call. Unless we don't get the gender we were hoping for, then it's your fault, science or no science. Unfortunately, Stevens wasn't originally credited with the findings. Her colleague E.B. Wilson published a paper around the same time with the same findings, but after review of both papers, it was concluded that Stevens had a more thorough explanation. Ha! Take that glass ceiling. All right, there we go. Now, Stevens died at 50, but published 40 different research papers, a huge number for any scientist in that era. I bet you didn't think you was going to get mealworms when you turned on to get up DC this morning.